let's fix that form. We're gonna show you guys the A to Z on how to do the straight arm lat pull down. This is incredible for building up those lats and an amazing mind muscle connection exercise. Let's get into it. First and foremost, if you guys know how it works, if you guys have seen our other how-to series, if you haven't, I really recommend that you go through everything. Uh, we start with the top three common mistakes, so I'm sure you guys will identify with one of these three mistakes. Number one mistake, guys, is simply wrong pelvic position. Now this is something kind of confusing. This is an advanced way of doing it, but it's really gonna help. So you're gonna go ahead and start by packing those lats, that's number one, yes. You're gonna have your glutes out a little bit, but you're gonna end up thrusting them through into your laps, laps into your lats to really drill in that connection. You guys can see it's gotta be a motion together. You guys can probably see I'm doing it in the video right now. That's how it should be done as opposed to the incorrect way, which you'll see I'm now doing like this. Don't be that guy, do it the right way, get the most out of it, make the most out of your exercises, guys. Okay guys, common mistake number two is not properly utilizing mind-muscle connection. I think so many people stay away from this exercise because they simply go through the motion. They don't actually feel the great benefits you'll be getting in your lats because they're not actually thinking about the muscles being worked. They just go through the motion, they're not doing anything. So guys, make sure, I can't stress enough how important it is to be thinking about actually pulling through and actually connecting your mind to the muscle that's being worked here. And guys, before we continue to number three, make sure to click the link down in the description. It's the first one. If any of you struggle with any exercise in the gym, we have a full guide that will help you from A to Z to fix your form now. So number three, we're jumping into the fact that so many people just bend their elbows completely. Guys, this isn't a tricep pushdown. A lot of you guys say to me, man, why am I doing this exercise and I'm only feeling my triceps? It's a stabilizer muscle because you're gonna be using your triceps to support the weight, but you shouldn't be fully bending it. You wanna have a slight bend, but it should almost be straight to the point where it's not fully being worked and activated. It's all about the lats here, guys, so make sure to remember that. All right, guys, I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna walk you through this whole thing. Just so you know, there are two ways of doing this. I like to say the beginner way and the pro way. It took me and Kyle a while to get really all the benefits out of the pro way. I really recommend trying it and trying to learn it. It'll be a bit harder than the first one, but you're gonna be working a lot more in the back and get an insane contraction. So to start off, you can position your hands wherever you like. Some people like straight, some people like here, some people like fully wide. It all depends what part of the back you want to work. From here, I recommend walking out I like putting my feet kind of close in a strong stance. Now from here it's important you let the weight pull you up in a safe way. You'll see I'm not like this already, I'm not loaded, I'm not completely forward and hunched, but I, I'm in a position where my chest is up, my hands are out, and it's got my lats are contracted, right? You can see I'm able to do this movement. Now from this movement, I'm gonna start pulling straight. Can't bend that arm, you pull completely straight. So I'm pulling straight to about my ab region. Now from here, this is where it gets a little bit so this is what I would say is like your simple wrap, right? My lat's fully packed, boom. I'm on a fixed plane, and I can do this movement. That's the beginner one. From here though, if you really want to take it a step further, pack those lats, and then from here, use those hips as you have your butt out to come in and pull through. So you guys can see that I let it pull me up clean, back down to this part, pack the lats and pull through. This will completely change the game. You're utilizing your glutes here to take it a step further. Oh, and it becomes a total exercise. You go from just working kind of your mid to upper lat region to working your full back all the way down there and really pushing in those rhomboids and traps all together, getting a crazy squeeze. And that's what this is for. It's a light exercise that isn't meant to be like a 90 pound thing. I'm using 30, 35 pounds here. That's all you need, guys. Hopefully that helps a ton. Thank you so much for checking out this video, guys. If you haven't seen our other how-to series videos, I really recommend it. And above all else, in the first link in the description down below, you guys can get our how-to cheat sheet. That's gonna show you guys every exercise we've ever done. We're constantly adding to it a uh, picture of before and after of how to do it, a little description and the YouTube video. So if you're stuck in the gym, that's the way you wanna go. I really recommend doing that. Please like and subscribe if you haven't already. Share with a friend. Peace.